What's up, guys? I'm Zach, your host of the Ox Podcast. And today I'm going to read a letter between teenage Fidel Castro and U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. This was written on November 6, 1940. And... I, th- this is from a book called Letters of Note, an eclectic collection of correspondence deserving of a wild, a wider audience, excuse me, a wider and a wild audience compiled by Sean Usher. I'll link that in the podcast description, but basically it's a book full of letters that are interesting. And this one stood out to me, one, because it's fucking Fidel Castro uh, and seeing a letter from him as a teenager to the president of the United States is pretty interesting. And two, it is also a good reminder that when you think about the evil and the atrocities that people commit as an adult, they were at one time an eight-year-old or a 10-year-old, 14-year-old, just a fucking kid bopping around before they formulated their ideas of what they wanted to do in this world. And so here's here's a little background information from the book on this letter. It says, in November 1940, 13 years before spearheading the revolution that would ultimately see him replace dictator Fulgencio Batista as leader of Cuba, a teenage Fidel Castro, aged 14, not 12, as he inaccurately claimed, wrote a somewhat cheeky letter to the then president of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and asked him for some money, a $10 bill to be precise. Sometime later, he received a standard reply from officials. His request for cash had fallen on deaf ears, has had his offer to reveal the whereabouts of Cuba's largest iron mines. Young Castro's priceless letter was rediscovered in 1977 by specialists at the National Archives and Records Administration. So here's a letter from Santiago de Cuba, November 6, 1940, addressed to Mr. Franklin Roosevelt, President of the United States. My good friend Roosevelt, I don't know very English, but I know as much as right to you. I like to hear the radio and I'm very happy because I heard in it that you will be a president for a new period. I am 12 years old. I'm a boy, but I think very much, but I do not think that I am writing to the president of the United States. If you like, give me a $10 bill, Green American, in the letter, because never I have not seen a $10 bill, Green American, and I would like to have one of them. My address is Senor Fidel Castro, Colegio de Dolores, Santiago de Cuba, Oriente, Cuba. I don't know very English, but I know very much Spanish. And I suppose you don't know very Spanish, but you know very English because you are American, but I'm not American. Thank you very much. Goodbye, your friend, Fidel Castro. If you want to make, if you want iron to make your ships, I will show you the biggest iron mine of the land. They are in Mayari Oriente, Cuba. So a lot of typos in that, but I thought that was a very interesting correspondence between Fidel Castro, a teenage Fidel Castro, and the president of the United States and having the balls to ask the president for money, (laughs) writing to President Trump, Obama, Clinton, whatever, and just saying, hey, nice to meet you. Now give me 20 bucks. I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah that is from again a book called letters of note and i will see you guys next time